Now to a developing story in Tarrant County. The desperate search for a young woman last seen with a man suspected in another woman's brutal murder. Our Todd Unger spoke with the missing woman's family this evening and joins us live now with more on that search. Todd? Marie, right now the whereabouts and safety of this young woman are a big question mark and that has her family extremely concerned. Her name is Jasmine Adams, and for three weeks to the day, no one in her close-knit Fort Worth family has heard a word. To not know where she is, it's just, it's, it hurts. I don't know if she's hurt or if she's okay, or I, I don't know. Laura Basie is mom in this case, and it is now an official missing persons case, has been since the family got a knock on their door from Dallas detectives a few days ago. Show me the badge, and he showed me his mugshot. And I immediately broke down because I was like, yes, that's the man that my daughter left with. That man is Brandon Sampson, who's currently on the run. He's a suspect in the murder of another young woman whose body was recovered earlier this month in Sampson's Oak Cliff home. He's also the last one spotted with Jasmine when she suddenly moved out January 1st. I said, you know, if you ever need me, I'm right here. You can always come back. But okay, and she closed the door and left. The family fears their 21 year old, who never spent much time beyond Fort Worth, is a victim herself or caught up in something she didn't expect. We're gonna look, this is what we're gonna do A, B, C, and D. They're leaning on each other until there are more answers. Beautiful smile, had pretty teeth. But for right now, mom has a simple message for the man last seen with her eldest. And I pray that God touch your soul so that you will stop doing what you're doing and let my baby go. A police source tied to the case tells us it's very likely that Samson may actually be out of state by this point. One other thing to point out here, Jasmine's family tells me she used to check social media two, three times a day, posting on Facebook, that type of thing. But since she left Fort Worth, nothing. We're live tonight in Fort Worth. Todd Unger, Channel 8 News. Thank you, Todd.